Phew. <clears throat> it's a bright one today. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've got a good one for you today. Had a few Mustangs get dropped off. We got this uh, 2015 S550. A little while back, did a pro charger on this one. It's here to get uh, vertical links, cradle lockout, and a uh, different pulley. I think we're gonna turn the boost up a little bit. Uh, this is a six-speed car, so uh, <clears throat> stay tuned for some content on this one. And then we also got this GT500 dropped off. <coughs> Excuse me. Pretty sweet little red. Pretty clean car overall. Uh, this one's got some issues when it goes into boost. So, uh, got some diagnostic to do on this one. Find out what's going on, whether we've got a fuel pump issue, tune related issue, whatever the case may be. But uh, we'll get that figured out. Let's walk around the side here into the shop. John's Mustang looking pretty good. Look down right there, you see some intercooler pipe. Give a little intercooler action. I have an update on uh, what all that jazz is here soon. And then we have this uh, Denali truck poking out. It's in for a uh, Canon intake and then uh, with these big tires on it, unfortunately doesn't fit on the dyno so we're gonna be street tuning this one so we're getting like I said we'll be getting this can and intake set up installed on this truck uh, before we get rolling on tuning and then uh, John is wrapping up some work on the Camaro here we got uh, remember yesterday I talked about how this thing was getting the power steering pump. Uh, we didn't end up replacing the pump due to the fact that it wasn't actually the problem with the with the power steering leak. It was the actual rack and pinion itself. So uh, we got that changed out, and we also did outer tie rod ends real quick due to they were pretty wore out. So that'll tighten the suspension up nice for the customer. And. Uh, We'll get this one back home soon. But uh, that's gonna be it for what we got going on today. So stay tuned. Alright guys, as you can see, John got the new K&N Blackout Series intake installed on the Denali. Looking mighty fresh. You know, even got the, got the carb legal sticker on there. Mm. All that K&N goodness. So now that we got that wrapped up, gonna back the truck out. And uh, hook up the old HP tuners and uh, give this thing some more horse flowers. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we're on the way back to the shop. I'm just been out tuning this uh, 2004 Chevy Silverado on paint for a big truck. She buggies. Knock the laptop down. But uh, yeah, just wrap this thing up. We're uh, 
heading back to the shop with it. I think it turned out really good. Um, you know, the big thing with these trucks, these big lifted trucks, is uh, you gotta really pay attention to your uh, spark tables. Spark knock, and uh, you know, with the big tires on them, it's a lot of load on the engine, so you can make more power with them. You just gotta be mindful and uh, you know, pay attention to your spark knock and your fuel. And uh, you know, with these being direct injected, there's a little bit more involved timing and so forth but uh, I think the customer will be very happy with this we went ahead and left the DOD on um, you know he does take this on the highway on long road trips and stuff so having that DOD on is going to help him maintain a few miles per gallon uh, versus turning it off so it sounds like a V8 all the time but, uh, that's going to wrap up the uh, Chevy Silverado with the uh, Blackout series intake we got put on there for him, which uh, matches the truck really well. And, and a little street tuning on it for him. And uh, we'll get it back to him. Uh, today we're chasing the issues with the uh, GT500, and we're pretty sure we found it. So we did some diagnosing and we pulled the fuel pump hat out. As you can see, it's currently out. A uh, little bit of a mess there, no problem. It's fuel, it'll evaporate. <clears throat> and what we actually found was <clears throat> one of the pumps is bad. Um, so one way that you can do some testing, just for future reference for you guys, if you ever run into a problem with the GT500 or a Ford product with dual pumps in it, is in the back here, um, you have two fuel pump modules one on each side and if you unplug those fuel modules one at a time and if the car fuel trims start going crazy or it dies it lets you know that hey that pumps not working um, and then you know from there you can pull your fuel hat apart replace the bad pump fix the problem but we believe uh, after everything that we've done we've discovered that one of the pumps is in fact dead um, so we actually have a test pump in-house that we're going to replace that pump with and uh, if we put it all back together and the car runs good and uh, fuel trims stay where they're supposed to be a wide open throttle then we know that for sure is the problem and uh, we'll get a new DW pump ordered for them and get that installed and get the car back to the customer.